everyone. Are we here? You have a funny look on your face. I do. I think I might have pressed the wrong thing um, on Instagram, so we're going to start again. Yeah, I think we're doing a video So Facebook, or please, so, yeah. please hold. <laughs> Facebook, hello. Hi. I'm going to just Instagram. go on this side. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Welcome. It's, uh, what is it? Wednesday night, 7.30, belly dance therapy. So I'm really happy you're here. Get ready for a fun class. We are going to look at um, how to do a combination by elements. So we're going to take the, the elements that you need to create a combination and work with those. And then we're going to look at how to do some variations. So it's going to be kind of exciting. I kind of, I kind of like this one. You know, some classes are more physical, some are more emotional, some are more, more technique. This one is more theory, right? So let's see how it goes. I think you'll have fun. Anyway. Um, and we can say hello to uh, Sarah okay. and Abby. And Yay. Abby gave us a sound check. She's oh, over looking good. and it sounded okay. fabulous. Okay, good. Good. And Michelle says hi. Hi, so Michelle. Nice to see you. We have Brenda and we have... Um, Zu I forgot how to pronounce her name. Zunevi? Zu Zu oh, Zunevi? yes. I don't know how to say her name. I'm sorry. Sorry, darling. But that's who we have today. I'm so happy everyone's here. This is great. We yeah. have a whole lot of people. people. And somebody people. else just joined too. We have people who we haven't seen in a while. Yes, so indeed. welcome back, guys. Welcome back. We also All right, let me throw music on. We're playing with Beats Antique. And um, we also we'll, get, we'll just move around a little bit. Heather just joined us. Oh, see. Heather. Yay. Heather Bowman. Bowman. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Time to dance. Here we go. Let's see. I think we'll do... Up there. <laughs> it's funny this song. Oh, no, I did that one. No, you did that one. <laughs> I'm thinking that one. I don't mind listening to mine again. I haven't heard it in a while. Well, I heard it on, on Saturday when I was in yeah. the show. Yeah. I watched myself again. So. Alright, widen your base. Let's twist. Twist the body. Hold your hips straight ahead. Tighten your abs. Beautiful, almost summer spring day today. Wasn't it nice. great? Oh, you know, and it's still warm. It is it's, warm. It's it's 76 in here. It's so exciting. My feet are not cold. Use your tummy. 
tonight. Oh, because she had dental surgery oh, today. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. Yeah. I got, oh. <laughs> so, no good. Yeah. I feel you so much on the dental surgery. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I might have to put you on this. <laughs> <laughs> Something is not. Usually there's a beat in there somewhere. Yeah. I can't remember. Um, the, what yeah. number? Let's look at so it. Here, take yeah. See if you can figure it out. Well, we, we're going to talk about, thank you, we're going to talk about elements. All right. When you do a combination. So I have a list. My list. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's lots of elements. So <laughs> we're going to talk about them and how to put them together and then how to do variations. So this is a cool thing. If you're a note taker, this is a cool thing to write down these theories because this is very, very, um, it's, it's very for sure, right? It's a fail-safe. It always, always works. And um, some days you're more creative, and other days you're just, oh, I can't, I, can't, I just can't. Well, you can plug in your formula, and it will work always. So first thing, when you do a combination, you need a foot pattern, all right? So let's go over some of the basic foot patterns, and you'll have your own as well, but think about, how do you how do you get from one place to another, right? Other than just walking, right? We walk a lot, but we can we can chasse, right? And we all hopefully we all know this. It's step together step, step together step, step together step, and we have chasse back. Step together step, step together step, step together step. So it's basically a triple step. You would step right left right, left right left, right left right, and back so on. All right, so chasse is one thing. Uh, grapevine is another really common way to travel where we cross the working foot to the front and then we cross it to the back. So front, side, back, side, and I'm almost off the screen on Instagram. Front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, All right? So grapevine is another one. Um, rocking step is another one. Forward, middle, back, middle, forward, middle, back, middle, and you can travel sideways with this, or I'm gonna switch feet, you can travel forward and back with this. So you just have to have a foot pattern, right? Forward and forward, middle, back, you just take a bigger step forward, okay? And then you have all the turns, right? Those aren't, aren't really foot patterns. So you just kinda of wanna think about how you're gonna, what foot pattern you're gonna use with your combination. So. That's one choice. And then you pick, figure out what direction are you gonna go. You have five choices. You can go forward, back, side, side, left, right, or circle. So we have two, forward and back. We have side, side, we have circle. Well, actually we've got more, we've got diagonal, right? So all kinds of diagonals. So, so two, four, six different directions or planes of motion. And then we've also got turns. We can turn in place we can walk in a circle, right? So that until you decide, where am I gonna go with this? What direction am I gonna cover? So what feet am I using? Where am I gonna go, all right? First two. 
layers. Am I going to add some layers? Am I going to do a chasse and then get to where I'm going and do a step and then do a grapevine somewhere else and then do a step, right? In other words, no layers, one at a time, fine. Or am I going to add layers? So let's say we're going to do a chasse because because we are. <laughs> That's the one I'm going to pick tonight. So let's take a chasse and do um, three-quarter shimmy. So one, two, three, shimmy, 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 da 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 da, back, bum, 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 three-quarter, three-quarter, three-quarter. I think we're three going to go with a different, a different okay. beats and see, because all, right. all these ones are very, yeah, what is it? very beautiful. Maybe it's because, maybe I'm used to using your tablet. Yeah. That's, That's what it is. is. So we can we can yeah. recreate that. I'll just okay. take a few moments. Okay, no worries. And we'll get a try. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, back, right? Or we can simply do a hip push, right and right, left and left, right and right, left and left, back, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And I'm just going forward and back because that's where you can see me. But keep in mind, we could be turning, we could go diagonal, we could go side, right? If you're in your, in your room and you have some space, you can take these in different directions. So your layers, you can decide. So let's say we want to put Maya's over the chasse. So if I go right, I'll Maya right, left, 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 right left, right, left, or maybe I want to do the hard one <laughs> where I'm going to go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's a layer, all different things. You could also do shoulders, one and two, three and four, five and six, right? So pretty much any body part that you want to do. And when you add all those layers to your foot pattern and your direction, you make a step. Right? You make a whole step. So we'll try some of those in a little bit. Then you have what's going to happen with your hips. Are you going to do anything in particular with your hips in your combination? Do you want to do a basic Egyptian? Do you want to do a lift, lift, drop, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, drop, lift, lift, drop, lift, drop? Okay, that would be cool. Do you want to do a hammer? Down, down, down. Do you want to do a one hip figure eight? Do you want to do a circle? Right? What do you, what do you, what's your fancy? Okay? What do um, you feel like? Do you want a faster rhythm or a yeah. slower rhythm? Yeah, I kind of a medium fast would be good. Okay, so I have choices now. Okay, if good. You want All right. You tell me. Okay, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yay. Let's, um, yeah, that, that, that CD is one of my favorites and I just wasn't finding the tempo. It's going to be too far. So. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Like that? Okay, so we'll do it in a little bit. All right. Awesome. All right. All right. So you're going to make decisions on what's going to happen with your hips. Okay? And then, are you going to do an arm pattern? So arm is the next element. Are you going to do arm waves, arm shakes, arm circle, thingy candle arms, are you going to just hold your arm second, fourth, fifth, what's your fancy, right? Mm -hmm. Arms are, remember they're more of an emotional thing, so sometimes your arms, I suggest, put those in at the end. <laughs> when, you, when you get yourself together, say, oh, I really like this particular hip step, I want to put this in a combination. You build around it, and then at the end, it's like, okay, yeah, I think, okay, this is going to be the arm because that accents the hip, right? So put your arms in at the end. All right, your next element are your ribs. Are you going to do anything fun with your ribs? We are. <laughs> we love our ribs. I have right? a feeling. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to circle them? Are you going to lift? Are you going to pulse up, down, up, down, up, down, side, side, box, diamond, two boxes, Right? Look at all this. I mean, we've done so many classes together. We've learned so many things. So think about some rib things that you really like. Maybe you want to put those in your combination. And then lastly, accents. Are there any particular types of accents? So accents, we're going to put one in tonight. Um, it's just a kind of a moment or a special thing that you do 
in your combination, a sort of a high point of your of a, fo a focal point. So turns count as an accent, right? You can just whoop, cross over, or just whip around, or walk in a circle, or like I said, cross over turn, uh, reverse cross over, three step turn, airplane turn. We're going to do that tonight. That's a really nice accent. So turns count, right? They can be the five, six, seven, eight of your combination, they can be the one, two, three, four, or they can be just two counts, right? They, they make a nice little beginning or an ending. Also, another good accent is um, a kickball change. Kickball change. That is a cool little, it's a transition in your combination. It gets you from over here to over here, <laughs> right? <laughs> Your kick will oh, well, change. Yeah, yeah. It, it gets you in a new spot, and it's a way more interesting way to get there. So we can count that. Right, because you could just do a walk. You could just take a step, <laughs> a light step, when you can kick ball change. <laughs> it looks way right. better. All right, so foot pattern, direction, layers, hips, arms, ribs, accents. Lots to think about. That is a lot. How many things is that? Seven. Wow. That's what you said, yeah. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Seven. You don't, you don't need to do everything in every combination. <laughs> You'll be so busy. Throw it all You'll be so all busy. busy. You'll be like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's not necessary. <laughs> yeah. But as you, like you take in classes, you look at things and you're probably like me. I see, oh, I like that move. I like, I see what a hip does or I see something, I like that. And I remember that little piece. And this is how you can build a combination around that piece. Okay? So we are going to start with the step that I saw on with Cami, Cami Little. We've been we've been both taking her classes off and on, and she's just got some magical things. Super good. Yeah, she's so she just you know. It's so, fun. it's so nice to see somebody that just does something different than you do. You <laughs> yeah. Know? I don't want to watch anybody that does what I do. I want to watch somebody that does what I don't. And that inspires me. Yeah. So we're going to learn an accent move that she did. And we both went, ah. But then I hurt my hip. And I couldn't do it for yeah. a couple of months. Yeah. Because it took a glute muscle. Now my muscle, my glute muscle, I'm crossing my fingers that it's, it's I'm going to say it's about 85, 90%. That's good. Yeah, which is nice. You do not want to do what I did. <laughs> that hurt. No, so I can't imagine that. This, <laughs> is, this move is a rond de jean. So if you, anybody's got a ballet background, a rond de jean is basically a big circle with one leg. <laughs> All right? And you can do them. How else do you do them? You do them? You can't do them while you're back with the boys. But it's always on the floor? I think so, yeah. Okay. So it's a rond de jean front to back. Do you know how to spell it? Yes, it's like R O N D E. Ronde. D U J A M B E. Like oh, it's genre. crazy. It's a crazy spell. Ronde. Something Ronde. around so that it's area. Ron, it's probably round. Yeah, round. Oh, What's Jean? Yeah. Is I have that, no idea. Jean? <laughs> is that leg? Round of leg would make sense. If anybody yeah. speaks yeah, French, let us know. You know French. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, think so. it's, I think it's on. Well, you know what? Or I'm maybe circle sure. on the floor. Maybe on the floor. Yeah, I don't know. But that's what we're going to do. It has been a very long time since I've done ballet. Officially, officially, it was like... Somebody like, might type it in. It was like, you know, we've got... I think ballet. Abby has a lot of... Yes, yeah. Abby. Yeah, yeah. Let, us yeah. let us know. Confirm All right, so plie to. on one side. Take your foot forward. Make a big-ass circle. Take it around to the center again. Front to back. Now, you can go back to front, right? Either way. But we're doing front to back. So front to back. So you're just stirring the pot, basically. The hardest part of this move is just balancing, really. Yeah. I was practicing it in my slippers and jammies this morning, and I was falling all over the place. I'm going to blame it on my slippers. Slippers. It was yeah. Slippers so I'm hoping tonight I won't fall as much. So let me go do my bad leg. So get on your other side, and whoo. <laughs> Don't fall, Malia. <laughs> okay. Well, I think the like secret is that it all like all your weight should be on your right foot. It should be. So there should be it nothing varies. on your left. But then when I do this, something else. See, I don't. Yeah. I can do it on one side, but anyway, and we'll work on hold it. Hold your cough. Yes, four lines. <laughs> so then, so let's go back. I'm go back to my good side. So let's. Right. <laughs> so whatever direction you're going. So my good side, my my leg is turning clockwise, right? So my rib is going to turn clockwise. 
So rib and leg. Right now, if you throw them in the pot and stir it up, guess what? Your body will figure it out by itself. Don't overthink this. We will overthink it in a minute, but right now I just want you to try it. Get your ribs going to the right. Now, when you feel balanced, circle your leg. Your body figures out how to not make itself fall. Right? It's not gonna, it's not gonna, unless your brain gets in the way and tries to match it, and then you're gonna teeter over, right? Right. So my what are you so strong size, so I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> so what are you doing? Freeze in the middle. So do you see? Foot is over there, rib is over there. So all it is is a counterbalance. If you start to the side with your rib going opposite, right? And then your foot goes back and your rib goes forward, and then they come in together, and then your Foot, your rib goes back, your foot goes forward, and then side, and so on, and so on. They are counterbalanced. It's like, remember the coffee grinder I showed you a long time ago? Rib over hip, right? Whoops, that's Amaya. <laughs> right? Rib over hip, the coffee grinder. It's that theory. It's like the coffee grinder, but it's with your leg. So, now, try to the left. Hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Circle your foot. Balance. To the left. Now start your ribs to the left, and they will balance, I promise. If you don't overthink it, they will balance, because if you do it the wrong way, you're going to fall over. Your body naturally goes, whoop, right? What do you do when you're falling? You stick out the other side when you're trying to balance, right? Your body does this by itself. So let it, let it do it. Let's try that again. Ron Dijon, shoot, <laughs> to the left. And rib circle. Is that your good side? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's my good rib, like the good rib plus rond de jambe side. Oh, okay. The other side gets a little like stuck. It's not my good rond de jambe leg, but doing the two together. Yeah, it's not my rond de jambe leg. The better, the better combo side. I'm kind of uh, uh, less than graceful. That's all right. All right, so that move I absolutely love. And we're going to make that as an accent piece. Excellent. Okay? So. What so on okay. What yeah. See if we have any yeah. comments. So what we're oh, going. Brenda says Jean means leg. <laughs> oh really? Oh thanks, Brenda. Jean it means leg. Jean means. So it means round of leg, I think. Doesn't it? Yeah. Make, that makes total sense. Yeah. Make sense. your leg go round. <laughs> Why not? Okay. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so glad you girls know what you're doing. <laughs> you're so helpful. Seriously. That's great. <laughs> It's almost like, you're, I mean, this is the closest we get, right? Yeah. So here you are, here we are chatting to these little square boxes. <laughs> but we know you're there, so it's really nice when you, when you um, participate and yes, talk to indeed. us. Yes, indeed. So chasse going forward. We're going to pick a hip pattern and a layer of a single, single, three-quarter shimmy. Single, single, three-quarter. Single, single, three-quarter. Single, single, three-quarter. Single, single, three-quarter. So the chasse will look like this. Single, single, three quarter, single, single, three quarter, single, single, three quarter, single, single, three quarter. Yeah, is that good? <laughs> Hopefully, here we go. And one and two, three and four, five and six, and eight, right? If the three quarter is eluding you, just go one, two, three, four, five, 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 da, 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 da. Just single. It's fine. It all works. So we're going to start with that. So it'll be chasse. I'm going to get back here. Let's do four of them. One, two, three, four. Now, rond de chambre. <laughs> you see what I just did? I just went. <laughs> you remember what I said? No, about? I was concentrating so much on you my remember own. I said, don't overthink it. <laughs> don't overthink it. <laughs> What's the matter what, with you? What not to do? <laughs> that was the wrong thing. That was the. All right. Don't do this one. Yes. So. Ron de Jean. All right. Jean. You probably don't say the B, right? Ron de Jean. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. don't. All right. So it's around like we go. Jam. Yeah. Jean. Okay. And then we're going to chasse back. So when we do that, Ron de Jean, it goes around, and your lift, your ribs gonna lift. And back chasse with the hip push. We've done this the other day. Four. Yeah? So we have direction. 
We have a foot pattern. We have a hip layer, and we have an accent. Accent. All right. All right. So yeah, I'm just I'm put, putting things this. together so you get the idea of how this game works. All right, here we go. And one and two, three, four, five and six, seven and eight. Da da da. da. Well, let's see. I'm trying to think. Da 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 da. Let's do two. Two. two? Okay. I think we should do two. One and two and one. Yeah, let's make it gushy. Okay. So two, three, four, and then around and yeah, around and around and one and two. So the leg you're rounding with, it's my left or your right. That one is the one you will chasse back on two, and you will push with your hip. One, two, three, and four and six. Five and six. Now we're going to add another accent back here. One of my favorites, kick ball change. Your free foot is the right one. Kick ball change. Ta da! Ta -da. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. <laughs> right? All right, so going back, we have done around, around, one and two, three and four, five and six, and kick ball change. Nice. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so. We've got a few elements here. Yes, we okay? do. So let's just play quite with this. Quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun. It's not a complicated thing. But when you, so this is a, a less than creative way to approach a combination. Right? <laughs> there's an emotional way. There's a creative. Listen to the music. See what comes out. Throw it against the wall. See what sticks. <laughs> it's always a good technique. I love that one. This one is sort of, this is one is in your, it's, you're going to dance beautifully, but you're going to create it more in your head and you're gonna build it around something that you like. So there's no right or wrong. It's just what are you in the mood for? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you just should have all these tools. And you use the one that you want when you want. Shall say one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, Ron de Jean and one, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Very nice. Now, I would love to go sideways, this, but we're not, because I'll be off screen. So just make a note to yourself to try some directions, right? So try some different. Yeah, yeah. Instead of just forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go again. Here we go. Whichever side you want. I'm sticking on the side that's not that great right now. I'm trying to get better on this one <laughs> side. It's not that happy. Here we go. And. Single, single, three quarters, single, single, three quarters, single, single, three quarters, single, single, three quarters, rond de jean, rib, circle, back, chasse, hip push, and three, and kick, ball, change. And your weight is on your forward left foot. Yeah? Okay. Any questions on that one? All right. Making sense to everybody? We should try the other side just because. Yeah. We don't always yeah. have to, but let's yeah. just give it a try. So, okay. other side, here we go, six, seven, and one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, one, two, do, do, ba, 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 kick, ball, change. Okay, should we throw music on? I think we okay. should. let's throw music on. Let's do music. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. let me see. Uh, Da -da, da -da, da -da. I'm just reading my notes because we're going to have variation in a second. Right, I think you need to tell me the, the volume. That'll work. Turn it up a bit. One more. How's that sound? Okay. That should be good. I think so. Tell us if it's too loud or not loud enough. It feels like it might be right. Here we go. Five, six, seven. 
watching the screen, I get these little lines that jump up. Is there anything that we need to um, answer? And Rhonda, uh, so Brenda says, Rhonda Jean means round of the leg. Yes, yes. You know what, it comes back to me now that she's saying that. Yeah. And then she said, can be another way of saying it, but I can't pronounce it. Donner, alter, or aller. Or aller, aller. Can be done. Oh, can be done. Oh, can be done on the ground or in the air. Push back, push back, kick, ball change. That's our first one. 
and then our rib. Goes forward, and then our run, and then our single, single, double goes back. Only two of them, and then kick ball change and around. Doesn't that look fancy? I mean, yeah. it looks semi-complicated, but it's not. It's just using a formula. So remember what's cool about formulas, your brain grabs them very nicely. If you, you almost get a diagram in your head, right? Yeah. And I'm going, okay, on this bit, I'm just plugging this in. And then over here, I'm going to pull that out and plug that in. It's so much easier on your head and your brain than trying to learn a whole, okay, we're going to learn a whole new thing now. It's just a, a formula, and you're removing and adding parts. Right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Back to back. Back to back. <laughs> so, single, single, double, going forward. And one, two, three, four, ronde, ronde, back, 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 kick, ball, change, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, ronde, and single, single, double, single, single, double, big ball change, and turn around. Yeah. Nice, and it alternates inside, so we... Oh, now, how did that, I, yeah, I planned that. I meant, I meant for that time. Yeah, no, that's really excellent. <laughs> that was all on purpose. And also, I forgot, the big ball change is a unifying step, as is a single, single, three-quarter. Yeah. So it looks like you planned out, well you did, you planned out this whole thing, right? All right, yeah. let's do it, let's, should we do it one more time? Sure. Give yeah. it a shot? Yeah. Okay. Put on the music. Yeah. Cool music. It's so cool. If anybody's wondering, the name of the song is, uh, oh, I lost it now, hang on. Nesatavo. Okay. Nesatavo. How do you pronounce it? So we're going to go back, back, kick, ball, change, body wave. Right? Because kick, ball, change, and body wave is classic. It looks so good. So go back twice. One and two, three and four. With your free foot, kick, ball, change, step forward, tuck, pelvis, push forward, body wave, down, to up. It's a really nice move. 
and shift your weight forward. Yeah? Looks really good. Mm -hmm. All right, so going back. One and two, three and four. Kick, ball, change, step, forward, body, wave. And I just kind of naturally went on a diagonal. So go wherever is comfy. I kind of like going on a diagonal for a body weight because you can see it. It doesn't look as fun when you see it and it just looks not as great, but when you're at the side, like, oh, that's cool what her body's doing, mm -hmm. right? All right? Also, um, Brenda uh, said, yay, I did it when we were doing Oh, good, you did it. Comments. Okay, so, awesome. Yay, Brenda. Okay. Thanks for letting us know. Yeah. We love to hear that. We love to hear that. Yes, we do. So let's go forward like we did on the first one. Um, single, single, three quarters, single, single, three quarters, single, single, three quarters, single, single, three quarters. Ron de jambe, we're keeping that. And then back twice, back twice, kick, ball change, body wave. Yeah? Okay, let's try that. So, single, single, double. Single, single, three quarter, going forward. Right and right, two, three, left, da, 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 Ron de jambe with hips, a uh, rib circle, and back, and back and kick, ball, change, body wave. Nice, okay, good. I'm thinking, I wanted to insert, okay. You know how I think, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll happen when it's ready to happen. <laughs> again, again, force it. All right, let's try it again. There we go, single, single, three quarter. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, Ron de Jean, twice and back, two, three, four, kick, ball, change, wave. Good, all right, so let's try from here, step forward into a crossover turn, into an airplane turn. I just want to put it in there. Yeah, because you said you did an airplane. Yeah, challenge. I wanted to add that variation. All right, uh, so. Full disclosure, my shoulder is still messed up, so I'm not oh, sure what the airplane's going to look like. Do a one winger. It might end up being one winger. <laughs> one winger is good. <laughs> well, like, I'll do the down. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've body waved. All right. Take your back foot, cross over, turn with your shoulders. When you get around to the front, start bringing your back arm up. And then straight down, so you look like the wings of an airplane. Straight down, lift your ribs, go up, look at the ceiling, <laughs> point your arms to the ceiling, roll around, and you've made a nice little, it's a propeller, right? So your arms are in a vertical plane, like so. So they, if you, this is kind of a quickie, cheap way to do the airplane turn. So on a clock, stand your clock on the wall, vertical clock, um, three and nine. Six and twelve. Three and nine. Six and twelve. Right? If you follow yeah. the old fashioned clock, or actually we have ring lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the do. ring lights are behind <laughs> us. They're these big circles, they're right? Perfect. They're so perfect. Just picture so a right. circle in front of you and mirror it. And you lean into it a little bit. Three and nine. Six and twelve. Three and nine. Six and twelve. All right, there's nowhere you get to go on this turn that's not in the vertical plane. So the only issue is when we do this, we don't know, watch my arm. You see what it did? <laughs> if I wasn't paying attention, my arm just went out of the clock. Yeah, right? this way, yeah. yeah. right, so. I think that also be uh, for, what I've seen happen is there's so much concentration on the spin of the body that your arms are... Arms look crazy. Yeah, yeah. just flailing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so let's try. Kick, ball change, body, wave, cross over, turn with your shoulders, now get your arms ready. Three and nine, six and twelve, three and nine, six and twelve. <laughs> All right? Right, yeah. don't watch me because I'm not doing it right. Yeah, she's only a one wing plane. I'm only a one wing plane. <laughs> It's just the top part, over the top I can't do. Here we go. Kick, ball, change, body, wave, crossover, turn, airplane, turn. All right? Nice. Yes. Yeah, I think that looks good. Don't worry about making full eights. You can always add stuff and make it. We're just going to throw this mm -hmm. in here. All right, so let's put it in here. So what have we got now? We've got single, single, three quarter, single, right? single, mm -hmm. single, three quarter, two, and three. Four and then two of these guys, 
and then back on two of them. One and two, three and four, kickball change, body wave, crossover turn, airplane turn. So that's what, four counts now? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Right? So where do you want to put for the eight? We're going, we're going one, two, three, four. We don't want to turn anymore, do we? <laughs> so you know no, what's thank you. <laughs> so you know what's really good when you cross. If you, we're doing a double turn, do something that turns you the other way, and that's going to help to unwind you. All right. So if we do kickball change, body wave, I was doing do my airplane crossover turn, airplane turn, step pivot around the other way. Ah, Let's nice. do that. All right, just it'll be a turning sequence, but we'll wind ourselves up and unwind. Okay. Okay. So we do like a, if, uh, a crossover. Uh huh. Airplane. airplane, and then step, step, pivot the opposite so direction. So that would be five, six, six full, seven, yeah. eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. So you're gonna step, full pivot, all the way around. All right. And then okay. we'll my wits about us. Yes. <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay. So, kick, ball change. Body wave down to up, crossover turn, airplane, step, don't turn yet, step, So because you, you have to pivot the other way. If you try to pivot again, you'll end up turning the same way and feel worse, yeah. right? So you've got to step and reverse your turn, okay? <laughs> Brenda said, had to skip the uh, turn. Yeah, I had a feeling. No Dramamine handy. I had a feeling. You can just write this down, Brenda. Just write it down. Yeah. <laughs> or you can just do the um, crossover turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just the one. And then do beautiful, like, yeah, do beautiful airplane arms. Yes, yeah, exactly. Just have a spin with them. All right, <laughs> Between it, me and you, Brenda, together, together we'll have a wonderful <laughs> airplane. Exactly. <time>. exactly. <laughs> All right, all in there, ready? And single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, ronde, ronde, one and two, three and four, kick, ball, change, body wave, crossover, airplane, step, pivot, and land. Nice! Woo! I like that. That's super cool. What are you doing at arms when you're done? Much. When you're done with the airplane into the pivot, just here. you just hang out. Yeah. Okay. Because they're so nice here, like, and what? they just play. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more time. This is good. Good job, guys. This, right. really, this looks really pretty. See, we're just taking basic little elements and plugging them in. Yeah, it's super good. All right, last one. Here we go. Endless trunks. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, ronde one, ronde two, chasse, chasse, kickball change, body wave, crossover turn. Airplane turn, step, full pivot. Ah, I think I need to use this. <laughs> this is good. It looks really pretty. All three of them are really, really nice. Really nice. So enjoy. Take them. They're yours. Play with them. Interchange. I hope that the principle, the, the method made sense of creating your elements and then pulling one out, putting one in, adding variations and how they all work together. Yeah. I thought it was a, a nice way to it. There's all kinds of ways, and this is just a way to do it. So hopefully you enjoy it. That was cool. Yes. I was thinking like as you were doing, as you were changing the pieces, you could also change the directions. Yes. So you end up, you know, going yeah. one way, or even like these guys can change directions. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Literally millions of ways yeah. to do things. Because you've got your seven elements, and we just have forward and back right here. But go diagonal, go in a circle, and you can take, you can literally take that same combination, change your directions umpteen times, and I swear it's going to look different every yeah, single time. Yeah. So enjoy this. It's, it's a fun one. I think it was, it was very fun. Well, let's see if we have any other comments All right. before we do anything else. Oh, oh, everybody's just saying such okay. a lot of fun. Oh, Barbara okay. says hi. Hi, Barbara. Abby Good. says such a lot of fun. Good. Brenda says thank you for class. Good. Nice to see you. So some I, I posted tomorrow night on um, Instagram Live. My good friend Tanya is um, she owns Bad Imagine Company. It's a resale vintage store in North Park, and she's featuring different entertainers every Thursday. Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> so I get to dance tomorrow in her little store right. live on Instagram at six o'clock. So it'll, I think it's six to seven. 
So I'll dance a couple times. I'm going to be interviewed. I'll talk about all the stuff that I do and the lessons and things. But I think it'd be super fun if you logged in. And you can also, you can watch it later. But I just posted it on Facebook. It's right under the post about this class. Right? Mm -hmm. It's right underneath there. So come and join. Come and join. It's, um, where am I? Uh, at Malia and Co, right? Yes. My Instagram. I'm going to, I'm going to broadcast live as well, but the, her store is Bad Madge and Company. It's kind of a cool, cool yeah. yeah, cool store. And then also, didn't you, um, um, the stuff in the store, things that you put together? Oh yeah, well. I pulled, I did a, um, a little fashion pull. So I did five outfits that they're going to show. Um, and it's so funny. <laughs> Because everybody does it different, right? She goes, you do five and you do five. So I pulled my five and I'm looking going, this looks just like my closet. <laughs> and she's, Malia, that's so you. It's there so was perfect. black leather, of course. of course, with a purse. There was leopard. Of course. Um, there was tie-dye involved. Um, and I think more black involved. And maybe one more animal print. <laughs> Very but nice. I looked at the whole thing and I'm going, oh, yeah, at least I'm consistent. <laughs> But isn't that the whole point? Is to I like, guess, yeah. It was like just funny. The Malia's collection. Yeah, it was right? just, yeah. It was the Malia, so you'll see the Malia collection. I thought it was pretty, pretty That's, funny. I'm looking forward to watching it. Was it was interesting. It's going to be super fun. So I hope to see you there, or hope you see me there. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll I'll be, be watching, watch yeah. with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll be back on Saturday. We're going to dance again Saturday at 6. So we'll see you here in a few days if I don't see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it for now. That yeah. is it for now. Okay. And just remember to subscribe to Malia's YouTube channel, which mm -hmm. is Malia Nelson. And all videos are on there with descriptions in a playlist according to how we have done them. Mm -hmm. And um, comment, like, subscribe everywhere. Share yes. everything. Yeah, share a thing. Can. That would just, be great. Yeah, pick a friend or two that you think would like this and share. That would be lovely. Facebook it loves me when you share. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yep. All right. All right guys, I'm gonna go this way. Nice. If there's any other things to say or do. Okay. All right. I think that's We're it. Good. If everybody thinks and I'm inspired. Oh yay! Okay. Good. Great. Good. Good. And that's All it. Right. I'll see you soon. Night night.